everybody so i wanted to make a quick little video here and show you guys some jewelry bags that i picked up now i will tell you when i first went to the store i looked at all of them and i picked out three that i really liked most of them are 14.99 so about 15 bucks there's a couple that are let's see this one's 16 and this one is 17.99 and when I asked one of the workers why they were priced differently than the other bags, she told me that the lady who priced them felt that maybe there was something good in there. So um, <clears throat> so I bought the three bags. I left and I was sitting at a stoplight and I actually already opened one bag, you guys. I could not wait. But this caught my eye and it is actually 10 karat gold. And it looks like it's got some pretty emeralds in there. It is missing one stone, but my thinking was, you know, I mean, if one thing's in there that is just missing one stone and it's still gold, maybe there might be some other good stuff in these bags that were just put together by the same person. So I turned around <laughs> and I hurried up back to the store and I just bought all of them. So we are going to be opening these bags um, over the next week. And I'm going to be showing you guys what I get in them and what exactly I'm going to do with the jewelry. I was thinking it'd be fun to maybe experiment with selling some little statement necklaces on eBay, maybe just starting at like $10 each and just see how that does because I have a whole bunch of necklaces and they're really pretty. So um, I thought I'd run some auctions to see if anybody is interested in that. But yeah, when I saw this, I could not resist. I had to go back and get the rest. So let me uh, put all of this away and I'll show you everything that I already got in the first bag I opened. So let's see, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 bags all together that I purchased. So I did spend quite a bit of money, but I am hoping to make my money back pretty quickly with uh, some of the goodies I'm hoping to find inside. So let's see what I got in the first bag. Okay, so here is everything that was in the first bag that I opened. And that one was $14.99. We have a bunch of necklaces in this one. Really pretty, some longer necklaces. And this one's longer. This one's just plastic, but I feel like this one's definitely glass. The beads are a little bit heavier and they also kind of feel cold to me. And I'm not sure, but I think these might be the matching earrings that go with it not seeing a sterling mark just yet but they look like they could be sterling and then we have a little blue rhinestone watch roxy <clears throat> let's see what else um this is a really neat oh, let's see it's not a bangle it's like a cuff and this one has owls on it i just noticed that too that's pretty cool and then this one here, it almost looks like some kind of lapis, but I don't think it is. I think it's just enamel. So it has a little dog bone and some little paws. Oh, it does have some wear there. That's not good. But this one is, uh, I believe it's brass. Made in India. So that's a bummer about that wear. I just now noticed that. Um, we do have some mixed matched earrings here, but I'm hoping since I bought all the bags, maybe I will find the matches to these. And then this one, this cute little owl here, I'm not sure what he is. I used to have some similar pieces like this, and they went on some flip-flops I have, like kind of like as a pretty center point, center point, centerpiece rather, on um, the shoes. So I don't know, maybe that's what this little guy is here. And then, oh my goodness, you guys, look at these rings that are in there. These are adjustable. This one looks new, and it's got some pretty abalone uh, shell in there with some rhinestones. I really, really love this one. So pretty. So, and then the other one is this cute little owl. I think we have an owl collector here, for sure. But this one, I don't know if I would sell it, because just because it looks a little bit more worn. Doesn't quite look new, but they are definitely uh, stretchy and adjustable to fit any size finger. So, aren't they pretty? I just love those. And then here we have a pretty blue statement necklace, two layers. And then this one right here, oh my goodness, I love this one. 
I'll probably keep this one for myself because I don't really have that many black and gold pieces. But it's just real simple and kind of dainty with these little black beads. And it it is does have a little hang tag, a name on the hang tag. And it said I want to say it says B. Let's see. BPD. So right off the top of my head, I am drawing a blank. I'm not sure who that could be. I could easily look it up though. So that, and then these were like the remnants, the pieces that I'm not keeping, just a broken bracelet. Or actually probably a necklace. There's a lot of different pieces, but, and then there was a, um, another chain in here, a really long chain. I don't think it's Mark Sterling or anything. So yeah, not too bad for the first bag. I feel like I could probably easily put like $10 each on these necklaces and put them in my booth. So, um, but yeah, let's, um, let's open another bag. Let's open one more. Okay. I thought we'd open one more for this video and we are going to do the one that was $17.99. So let's see what kind of goodies are in this bag. Okay. Second bag is all unopened and I have everything laid out for you guys. So there were three more of these looks to be like homemade necklaces, glass beads. And each one of them, here's a pretty black one with some little pink flowers. And then this one's more of like fall colors with some browns and greens. And there were some stretchy necklaces. That's said necklaces, I meant bracelets, stretchy bracelets in there. And this is, this brown and gold set here is, I believe it's Kenneth Cole. Yeah, Kenneth Cole. And it has the matching earrings uh we have a little precious moments vintage watch little wrist watch some earrings um a neat little puka shell stretchy necklace and then a whole bunch of these cute little pins i especially liked that little ladybug and her little emerald green eyes very pretty um we have a three strand pearl set here bracelet set with the matching necklace and the gold pieces uh, say 14 karat gold. So I suspect these little beads here are probably 14 karat gold as well. Um, <clears throat> this necklace here, there were several of the chaps. So I still need to work on detangling this one. This one just looks like a cheapie. Uh, we have a little, what's that? little simple necklace here with a stone pendant and a stretchy bracelet. This one here is a Charming Charlie's. This one looked like kind of like coral shell to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below because I'm not sure, but it feels kind of cold. This one here is a vintage black velvet choker and this one is signed Art. So I know that's a good vintage brand. Um, this and some other earrings here, some Alex and Annie, a little daughter uh, bracelet. And I really love these studs. I might keep these for myself, but I haven't looked at the back of these. I forgot to do that before I turned on the video, but I don't think they're definitely probably not real gold because it has a silver post on there, but those are really pretty. And I love the princess cut too. Very pretty. Let's see. I think that's everything. I think I talked about everything in this one. Here's a vintage necklace. I do believe it's a locket. I haven't quite figured out how to open it just yet with my nails. Um, and this little beaded bra uh, necklace here is also chaps. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't find anything super stellar. I mean, I guess if, excuse all Skippy's hair here. I guess the big home runs were probably this art piece here and then the pearls with the 14 karat gold hardware. And I just love these glass bead, these glass beads that somebody made homemade with the matching earrings. I think they're so pretty. So, yeah, I don't know yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to put these like on eBay and I'm definitely going to be selling them, selling them as a set with the matching earrings. Or um, I might put them in my booth. Let me know what you guys think I should do. So it might be one of those things to where it might sell better in person just because people can feel it. 
and feel that they're real beads and, um, you know, hold it in our hand. So yeah, so be sure and be watching for the other jewelry videos coming out because, you know, I'm not going to wait very long to open those. So they will be coming pretty fast, I'm sure. <laughs> so we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.